In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up custom colors for the WordPress block editor. So you can change the default colors in the sidebar and access and change things on your website a bit more easily. However, it's it does have a few limitations. So let's get into it. So when you're logged into your website, you want to actually go into plugins and we're going to add a plugin that makes it possible for us to do this. So you go to plugins and add new. And then we search for block editor colors. You see here, we've got block editor colors by Moto Press. What we want to do is we want to install that plugin and activate it. Now, if you go here, you'll see I can go straight to my settings there. Or if I go to settings on the left over here, I can go down to edit colors. I'm going to click on that. And these are our default colors. We can also add in a color. Um, but if we're looking just to change the default colors, you can go ahead and do that here. So the way it works is if I say open up another blog post, I've added a bit of text here. So I want to change that text color. You see we've got pink, red, orange, yellow. The two greens, blues, purples, and so on. Now, if I actually tab back, it's all in the same order here. So if I go in and change some of these colors, let's say that first color, that pink, we want to change that to something else. We can go ahead and we can maybe make it more of a bright magenta, and you can see the original there for comparison. I then click Update. I scroll down and maybe then for this green, I want to choose more of just a standard standard green like that and click update. And we, and we go through and update the colors individually that we want to change. So maybe with the purple, we actually want to make that a brown for whatever reason or something maroon, something like that and update that. So now, you can see we've changed a few. This pink is sort of a bit brighter. This green's a little more normal, but the purple is more of a maroon. So if I tab back, you can see our colors here and they haven't been altered. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to refresh this page and we're gonna see what we get. And you can see these colors have changed. The green's different, the pink's different, and our maroon is there. So now you can actually set those colors and go from there. But there is something you should know about this plugin as well. I'm going to highlight this text and I'm going to make it the green, this green color here. Whoops. I've made it the green. I'm going to make the background, I'll actually make the background say maroon. I'll make this sort of a gray color. So we've got our text here. We've got maroon background and gray at the top. So I'm going to actually hit preview in a new tab. Now, for some reason, I couldn't actually change the color of the text, but you sort of get the idea here. The maroon is now there. So now if I actually tab back to that page, we have all of our colors here with the maroon, but those colors don't actually stay because it uses CSS to change the value. So if I get this maroon and change it to a bright yellow and update it, I now tab back to my page. I now refresh the page. And you can see the background changed to yellow. So this is a very, it's a very cool plugin for setting those default colors. However, if you want them to stay that way after you change the, uh, the settings on the plugin, or if you remove the plugin, the colors will actually change. So once you actually use this plugin, you do kind of have to stick with it or you have to go through and add it all in manually later. So I did just want to uh, cover that one to let you know how that worked. Now back to the block editor color plugin, we do have another option. Instead of actually changing the default colors, we can add additional colors to the mix. So if I have a name here, I'm gonna call it Wade Test and I choose a, uh, maybe a, try and go for a bit of a, a brownie, goldy sort of color. And I just call it Wade Test and add that color. I have that color. But is there something missing down here? Maybe a really lime green or something. So I'll just call this one Limey. Get this green here and choose a real lime, bright green like this. And then add that color. Now, 
one thing you need to remember is that this is still using CSS, so you would still need to keep the plugin installed for these to work. But now that I've actually added those colors in, if I go back to the editor, which now has a yellow background, I'm going to refresh this page, click on this background, go down to colors, and we have two additional colors down the bottom we can use. So now I can change it to a green and I can change the text to that. Well, I can't change that text at the moment. Um, the style of the themes taken over. So now that I've got a heading three, it now works. And I can now, again, preview this one in a new tab. And you can see now we'll get our custom colors there. So that's pretty, it's a pretty cool uh, plugin. It has a lot of features and that. One thing I haven't done, even though it adds those CSS qualities in, I'm actually going to just deactivate the plugin and we're gonna see exactly how it looks. So I'm gonna head back into my plugin section. So I've navigated to my plugins, I'm gonna deactivate this. I'm actually going to delete it. And we're gonna head back to our page and see what it looks like. We're going to refresh. And it's back to normal. So just wanted to let you know about those little shortcomings. You can set up custom colors and have them there easily accessible, but when you remove the actual plugin, those colors do not stay on your edited pages. But if you're looking for something for now and you wanna add one simple plugin to get that done, that's quite easy to do. Otherwise, if you're looking to use custom colors on your posts without the plugin, there is another option. So I'm back in the editor and there's a few clicks involved in this. I'm going to refresh this page because we're still carrying the old colors. And what we can do now, like I said here, if I select this text here, let's say I want to add some other text underneath. Now this text here, I'm going to go to my color and obviously I can choose a custom color. You've probably seen that before. Maybe I choose this magenta color, but I want to use that exact same color elsewhere. What I recommend doing is simply highlighting, copying this hex code, and then you can go back to this one here, go to color, and then you can make one of these, let's say the background color this time. You can highlight this area, right click and paste that hex code in to get the same effect. And I'll just make the text color white so it can be red. So that's the longer, more annoying way to do it. But if you have say a notepad file open or something, you can copy those hex files, those hex colors in if you don't want to use that plugin. Bit long-winded. But, um, you know, it's just a, another way of doing it if you're trying to minimize the amount of plugins you use. So that's the video for today. I hope you found that useful. Um, I hope that is a solution that suits. If I find something that is better, I will create another video and um, or leave a note in the description below. But uh, at the time of recording, I haven't found another solution yet. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want more videos like this on WordPress or social media content creation, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.